Hey, and welcome back to the Unity tutorials on third-person camera scripting and Mechanim. The first thing we need to do is uh, start our project, and as you all know, all great projects start with File New. So let's go to File New Project, and before we create this, let's create a new repository on GitHub. The way that we'll be doing these tutorials is I'll basically be copying in code uh, from the progressions of how I worked on this project, and we'll see step-by-step -step how this project is going to evolve. So let's go to github.com. If you don't have an account, uh, you should sign up. It's free. And I just kind of want to preface this with everything that we're doing from this point on uh, is pretty pretty much optional until we get to the scripting portion. I just want to go through how to create a, uh, a product on GitHub and have everything synced, especially important um, if you're trying to work with somebody. So let's create a new uh, name. So we'll go with Unity Third Person Camera Tutorial. I'll just go with Third Person Tutorial. So give it a description, uh, sample project showing third person camera behavior and mechanism animations. So we're going to go ahead and make this public, um, give it a readme, and we want to use the unity git ignore. And what this does is it's going to create a file in your repository that lets you ignore a bunch of the unnecessary files like your metadata files, um, like your library files. And we're going to do a couple settings so that we can create actual metadata files that we can sync along with our assets. <clears throat> so now we've created this. Uh, let's go ahead and open up the GitHub Windows app, which if you don't have this, it's a great app. You should download it. Um, and let's go ahead and clone this guy. So we'll clone in Windows. And this will open up the GitHub app for us. There we go. And it's going ahead and cloning it right here. So it should just take a second. So we've got Unity third person tutorial. All right, cool. So we've got our git ignore file and we've got our readme. The first thing we want to do is create our project in, we want to create this project and then copy it into the git folder. Uh, you can't actually create a new project inside of a git repository because uh, Unity requires an empty folder. So if we went to our git directory, we would have to uh, if we wanted to put it inside of this third person tutorial thing, it doesn't let you do it because you have to create it in an empty folder. So uh, what I usually do is I'll just create like a temp folder. And this is kind of hacky, but it's just the way that it has to be done, unfortunately. Uh, we don't want to import any assets because uh, I'll just be copying all those in by hand. Go ahead and create it. Uh, do I want to save, change save? Yeah, go ahead and save changes to that. Hopefully it'll create our new project. Okay, cool. And also, just as a, another thing, I'll be using Unity Pro for this, but uh, you can get a copy if you're a student from Studica for, um, I think it's about $100, so it's, it's pretty cheap, or you can alternatively use the free version. I don't think we're using many features that are pro only, and if we are, I'll be sure to point them out. Okay, so now we've got this. Uh, we've got our project. Everything looks good. Uh, let's go ahead and just save our scene uh, in a new folder. So we'll just call this Scenes. And we'll just call this locomotion because we're going to be testing locomotion in this scene. You go ahead and save that. Now you want to close out of out of Unity, and you'll see in the GitHub app. Hopefully these files will show up. If not, uh, they'll show up in a second. Refresh real fast. And now what we want to do is we want to take those files and copy them from this temp folder just into the main root directory. And you can go ahead and, and delete this temp folder now because we don't need that anymore. Okay, so now our, our Unity project is inside the git directory in the root, which is which is much more, uh, it's just, just cleaner. So open other, oh, that's gone now. So go ahead and open up the git, inside your GitHub folder, open up your, open up your scene. Okay, cool, no problems there. And hopefully everything should be good now. All right, let's see. Check the GitHub app. Yes, uncommitted changes. So these are all the new things that we've added. These are all of our settings files and our one scene. Another thing I want to show is how to set up your project for Git. The things that you want to do are you want to go into the project settings and you want to go into the editor. So right now the version control mode is disabled. You want to use meta files. And what this does is it's going to create a small file uh, alongside each of your uh, assets and it's going to have the information stored with it. So if you 
I don't know, change an animation setting or something like that, like an import setting. It'll store it there instead of in some folder in the libraries folder. It's a mess if you don't do this. Um, and you want to say force text. This is a pro feature here. Uh, it's not necessary, but it's going to save your scene file, which you can see here, now just turned into text. So before that wasn't text. If you rewind the video, you can have a look at it. And you can see that this is much nicer because now we can diff, uh, we can kind of, when we're merging our scenes, we can have a look at this and maybe a line or two changes. And that's a lot better because we can merge the two files together instead of before you would have to take one, the older version of the scene or the newer version of the scene. So this is a lot better. All right, cool. Now we're all set up. I'm going to pause the video for a minute. And I'm going to copy in a whole ton of assets and it's all the assets we're going to need for the, uh, for the project. So I'll see you in one minute. 